Well, we have a six investigates follow up for you this evening. Now, you may not know it, but the federal government is already leasing land under one of our water reservoirs where oil and gas companies are allowed to frack. And now they hope to sell even more of those energy leases. Here's investigative reporter Rick Spruill with an update. The ground beneath Choke Canyon probably contains oil and gas. And last year, the Bureau of Land Management opened up about 1,600 acres of it for fracking. This year, they want to open up another 4,000 acres for the same thing. Of course, environmental groups do not like the idea, and here's why. We think allowing fracking beneath Choke Canyon Reservoir is just too dangerous because it would jeopardize the water supply for Corpus Christi and its residents. Park is an environmental lawyer and admits there is no known example of fracking contaminating a municipal reservoir like ours. But for her, it's not so much about what's happened or hasn't happened in the past. It's the government's unwillingness to even consider what could happen in the future. Bureau of Reclamation has itself recognized that it needs to look at these potential risks in a comprehensive review of the harms and risks of fracking at Choke Canyon Reservoir, but it hasn't done those studies. Adding to the tension is the perception that the government is trying to go about it as quietly as possible. A good example of that is the fact that Corpus Christi Mayor Joe McComb didn't even know about this latest push for more fracking under the reservoir until Friday when we told him. I'm not sure it requires any action by the council, So, uh, but in answer to your original question, this is the first I've heard about it. Now several environmental groups are asking the government to slow down. They say city leaders and the public deserve more time to weigh in on the idea. Corpus Christi City Councilman Greg Smith agrees. Yeah, absolutely, it's a public interest. You turn that tap on, some of that water from coming from Choke Canyon. Not only that, Smith checked with the city's lawyers who say no matter how much money fracking Choke Canyon might generate, the city won't see any of it. Here at Choke Canyon, where our citizens help fund for some of those royalties, no, currently we're not going to get a penny of that. Now the current deadline for public comment ends Friday. Just follow the link in the online version of this story at ChrisTV.com. Rick Spruill, Six Investigates. So now you may be wondering if the federal government really makes any money on those leases. And that brings us to this evening's fact check. Does the federal government own mineral rights to oil and gas fields here in the U.S.? Is that a fact or is it fiction? And the answer is, it's a fact. Your Uncle Sam holds the mineral rights to more than 700 million acres, including the land beneath Joe Canyon. And just last year, all those rights generated more than $2 billion in royalties and other revenues for the government. By the way, some of that money is shared. The federal government does partake and share in royalties in certain areas. Offshore is a good example. Part of the uh, Gulf of Mexico royalties go to the state. But here... And again, while the state does get a piece of the action, the city, again, doesn't receive any of it. It only holds the rights to the water that's collected in Choke Canyon. And breaking news from the health department, Nueces County health officials have confirmed the death of a person who was hospitalized for Vibrio. That's the so-called flesh eating bacteria. Now the victim was an elderly person who had been wade fishing in the ocean. The person was hospitalized for severe leg pain and signs of a bacterial infection. The patient underwent an amputation, but died just over a day later after being admitted to the hospital. And Chewy's restaurant is being investigated by its regional management after at least one employee was shown a picture meant to illustrate the restaurant's dress code for employees. As we previously reported, that picture of a woman's leg was being used to show the proper length for shorts, but it's the words on that picture that have sparked controversy and even outrage. Chris 6 News reporter Jane Caffrey is live outside of Chewy's with the latest. Jane. Priscilla, a manager at the local Chewy's restaurant, admits the photo was shown. And now one employee who saw the picture is so offended she may not return to work. This photo was originally posted on social media by an artist who wanted to use it to help tear down prejudices held by some about the way women look. But now an employee at Chewy's says managers were showing it to employees to tell them how long their shorts should be. Some of the longer lengths are described as, quote, prudish or old-fashioned. A shorter length is characterized as, quote, asking for it. But two other descriptions of even shorter lengths contain even more blunt labels. 
They could have just told us, hey, the dress code says like five to seven inches from the seam. Your shorts don't comply. Instead of just showing us that picture, they're all laughing about it. But it's no laughing matter to Amy Augenstein, a local employment attorney. Sometimes a company will have, you know, an employee, like a rogue employee who goes off and does something they shouldn't do. And unfortunately, they you know that speaks for the company and their training. And at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, the use of the photo to dictate dress code is alarming to one student organization. It further solidifies the idea of victim blaming and also the idea that women who dress modestly, that they aren't seen as beautiful or attractive. Seeing that that's the way that a manager might be describing their employees is incredibly disheartening. They would like to see accountability. The manager should face consequences that's, and go through some training. That's not how you talk to your employees. There are ways to talk to your employees about how to dress professionally, and that's not ways to go about it. Chewy's owns restaurants in 19 states and their corporate headquarters are in Austin. Today, a Chewy spokesperson tells us that the company did speak with the employee who saw the photo as well as the managers. There's no word on when, whether any action will be taken. Lee. All right, thank you very much, Jay. Well, firefighters rescued a Bishop man from his burning home this morning. Uh, he was asleep in a front bedroom when that fire broke out. Fortunately, he was safely retrieved from the house. Crews from Annabelle and Kingsville were also called in to help fight the blaze. No word on the cause at last report. Meanwhile, a fourth body has been recovered from an apartment complex up in San Marcos. Uh, there was a fire there on Friday. It's located uh, that uh, 